Welcome to Physics 107, Physics of Food and Cooking. This is a class designed to teach physics using cooking demonstrations. Today we are going to demonstrate the underlying physics of phase transitions, the underlying physics of gelation, and the centrifugation principle by making a very interesting dessert, a coconut shell. So we have a can of coconut milk. This is full fat coconut milk. We're going to sprinkle a full sachet of gelatin. What the gelatin does is it gels the shell because the gel is like a mold, so it will now keep its shape. Now we're just going to add two tablespoons of sugar. We're going to add some vanilla extract. And then once it's well mixed, we'll just blow up our balloon to about this size. And then this is our mixture. You want to fill it up to like one-fourth of the way. So now we're going to pour the liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen boils at minus 196 Celsius. So it, when it hits room temperature, it's boiling very vigorously. When a liquid boils, you actually have to supply heat. So where are you getting that heat from? In this case, you are getting the heat from the food, which in turn cools. So and now we're just, just going to rotate. rotate the, right. So, we, so the rotation, what it does is the liquid that's inside the balloon, because she's spinning it, spreads to the outer surface of the balloon. And since the outer surface of the balloon is very cold, it immediately freezes. So that very rapid cooling, that's called cryo-freezing. And cryo-freezing preserves the structure of the molecules just at the instant that they are frozen in. If you have ice cream which is freezer burned, you know that it doesn't taste good because you feel those crystals of ice in your mouth. That's exactly the same thing that would happen to this coconut if you froze it very slowly. Here we are using liquid nitrogen. So the freezing is happening very rapidly. So you don't have in your texture any sharp icy crystals. So that's really the beauty of freezing in liquid nitrogen. Shivangi, let's eat our creation. It's very smooth, it melts, and then you get the liquidy flavor. Actually, when you eat it right cold like this, it's very tasty. It's pretty good.